Hi, I'm Ken Bykoff. Indiana finally did what had been expected for a long time and announced that defensive coordinator and assistant head coach Doug Mallory would not return with the team for the 2014 season. Defensive line coach John Fabris also will be moving on. Now, there's no nice way to put this. I used defense was awful last season, and had the Hoosiers played even a hint of defense this past year, Indiana likely would have appeared in a bowl game for the first time since 2007. As it is, the Hoosiers went 5-7 and seven and battled Navy, Michigan, and Minnesota tooth and nail before dropping all of those outings. The five wins came thanks to an offense that ranked among the best in the Big Ten and the country. Defensively, the Hoosiers were on the other end of the spectrum. IU ranked 12th in the Big Ten by allowing 527.9 yards a game this season, and Indiana gave up a league-high 38.8 points. The Hoosiers ranked 114th out of 123 FBS teams in points allowed this year, and in terms of total defense, IU ranked 120th. The yardage numbers were unquestionably impacted by Indiana's high-speed offense, but the points allowed, plus the defense's inability to get off the field on third down, spelled doom for the Hoosiers this year. Worst of all, IU's issues on defense were nothing new. During the 36-game tenure of Doug Mallory as the leader of the defense, IU gave up at least 30 points 26 times. IU gave up 40-plus points in 18 games, 50-plus in 7 games, and 60-plus twice. And although IU's offense has developed during the Kevin Wilson tenure, the same can't be said for the defense. In fact, in 5 of 12 games this year, IU gave up at least 600 yards of total offense. Now, fans have to be wondering why it took so long for the announcement to be made, and from a recruiting standpoint, it didn't make sense to fire Mallory sooner than this and go down a man on the recruiting trail. It also isn't unusual for programs to wait until after the bowl season has completed for moves to be made. You can bet Wilson has some names already in mind as a replacement, and whoever replaces Mallory will take over a young defense that has some talent, if not a lot of confidence right now. Now, beyond the on-the-field impact of the move, it's also a good PR decision. IU fans certainly had lost faith in Mallory during the season, to put it mildly, and bringing Mallory back after such a dismal campaign would have sent the message that Wilson was taking IU's defensive struggles a little bit lightly. If Mallory had returned, the spotlight would have shined directly on Wilson, and defensive struggles in 2014 would have unquestionably turned up the heat on the head coach. There hasn't been an announcement on when Indiana might name a replacement for Mallory, but Wilson knows this will be a very important hire for the future of his program, and he will do his best to bring in a quality defensive coordinator who will help IU take the next step and return to the postseason. For Campus Insiders, I'm Ken Bykoff.